All right, guys, I'm Brent. I'm Grace. And we are Brace, Brace Yourself. Yourself. And today we're here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, getting ready to try out one of my all-time favorite chain restaurants. We're looking for some value. We're going to see if some combo plates are... <laughs> okay, one more time. Let me do this. All from the beginning or just... Yeah, just, it'll be quick. Okay. It'll be quick. No, okay, no, ready? I trust you. I'm okay. just waiting for people. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Brent. And I'm Grace. And we are Brace, Brace Yourself. Yourself. And today we're here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, getting ready to check out one of my all-time favorite chain restaurants. It was one of my favorites growing up. I don't know if it's still as good as it was. We're going to find out. We're going to eat some good food. We're going to try and see if we can find a little bit of a value here. Is this Cheddar Scratch Kitchen the most bang for your buck? <laughs> Brace Yourself. So we're gonna do a menu read here at Cheddar's. We start out with the appetizers. We got the chip and queso. We got some beer batter shrimp, queso fries. You got your honey butter croissants. You can get one on your own for free when you come here. But if you want more, order them. Get a sampler. They have the new homemade onion rings, which was a family favorite of ours that, that was gone for a long time. Now it's back. We'll be trying them. On your soups and salads. Grilled chicken pecan salad, crispy chicken tender salad. You got a baked potato soup that's really good from here. You got the chicken, you got grilled chicken alfredo, lemon pepper. You got the number eight special, which is the chicken tender platter. Chicken tenders have been what this place has been known for as long as I've been alive and been coming here. They're amazing. Moving along, you got your com comfort food. Sorry for the glare. You got a meatloaf, country fried chicken, pot pie, country fried steak. Some pasta, pork chops. You've got different seafood options. You've got a shrimp alfredo, cornmeal white fish, garlic tilapia and shrimp, grilled salmon. You come up to the combinations. This is where the value of this place really comes in. In you can get the chicken tenders and shrimp, ribs and chicken tenders, ribs and shrimp, sirloin and shrimp, steak, top sirloin shrimp, steak and ribs, sirloin steak and chicken tenders. All look at those prices. This day and age, it's like giving it away. Steaks and ribs, they do do a really good rib here, and they are cheap. Twenty forty nine for a full rack. You can't get that anywhere. We've got some sandwiches and burgers. The Monte Cristo I've had many times before. I love it. Probably won't get it today because I'm not needing that much grease. And we've got some desserts here. We've got a hot fudge cake sundae, a classic cheesecake, a legendary monster cookie, oof, and a carrot cake. Get your drinks, got a full bar, cocktails and beverages, handcrafted cocktails, beers, wines, breads, and then we got your side dishes here. We got ourselves a blue moon, we got ourselves a painkiller, we got ourselves a happy babe. 
I've never had one of these before. It's always looked good, but I've always thought, mm, maybe not worth it today is the day that it is worth it. It is the Cheddar's Painkiller. It's rum, cream of coconut, pineapple juice, orange juice, toasted coconut rim topped with nutmeg. So nutmeg, I feel like it's gonna taste like fall, mm. which I'm okay with. Tropics. And I love the fact that there's a coconut rim. Like there's I also used to. liquor in it. You didn't mention that. I said there was rum. I said rum. My, I know how this tastes because I've had it before. I already know what you're gonna say about it when it's you try it. It's too much juice. Yeah, and not but enough liquor. You're only allowed to have two of them per person per visit, so there must be more rum than normal in it at least. It does taste like Christmas to me because of the nutmeg. It kind of get away. There's a bug. It makes me want eggnog. Um, Brent is right. I wish that it had more rum, maybe some vodka thrown in there as well, but that's just because I like to taste my booze. She likes to taste nothing but her booze, is what she's trying to say. But it is tasty. I can see why they would probably be like only two of these, because if you're over 30, the juice would probably make you sick. <laughs> I'm not sure that's why they say it that way, but oh, okay. sure. Yeah. Maybe if I sip it with the coconut. Christmas. No. Nothing says Christmas like a beach drink. <laughs> All right, taste that. Croissant. Uh, Croissant you got Croissant. there. So I had never been to a Cheddar's before I got with Brent. I think maybe once, but I don't even remember it. Because when we came here together, he was like, the Crescents are the best thing in the world. He's making a face right now because I say croissant and he hates it, so then I try to say it the right way and he hates that too. She pretends to be a super educated, smart person, and yet she for some reason cannot just say a word correctly. <laughs> she likes to pretend, I don't understand what you're telling me to say. Croissant. Croissant. For God's sake, croissant. This croissant is delicious. I will say I've had better from here because Brent and I have been here other times. I don't know if it's just not as fresh. It's still good. We're kind of in a, in a mid of, middle of the day time though, so maybe still the lunch rush is over. Yeah, yeah. Because they're free. I'm still going to take it and lick the butter off. Yep. Yeah. For the I'm gonna do. 40 years that I've been coming here until, the, until about COVID times, it feels like the croissants you only got when you got a salad like it didn't come free to your table you either had to pay for them or you had to get a something that came with them then they started giving one away per person for free and then you can get a dollar 99 for each additional one so good deal they're yummy they're i'm yummy. happy yep. <laughs> All right, babe, what do we have here? We have an onion ring tower that just seconds ago was momentarily not a tower. Uh, of course, um, if you have ever done anything with food vlogging or pictures for Instagram, you try to get the good shot. We tried that. I moved the plate back and it collapsed. So Hang it's on. not as pretty as it was a second ago. It comes with two sauces. I'm not sure what they are. I would guess it's a ranch and a Southwest ranch. I'm gonna try the Southwest ranch because that's typically what I like with an onion ring. Oh, I was wrong. It's very horseradishy. It's a little gonna dump a zang to it. <laughs> I'm just not allowed to have onion rings. That's what I'm learning. Yeah. It's more zingy zang even just a Southwest Ranch. So Brent might actually like that because it's very horseradishy. Almost kind of tastes like a Thousand Island. Onion rings, very crispy. I don't know if they hand bred them here, but they're crispy and delicious like they are. Also, the mm. onion did not come out with the ring, which I do appreciate. Oh, and ranch on shirt. So I can't have nice things. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's really. Brace yourself, branded bib. It's actually why I carry a tied to go pen in my yeah. uh, purse. Not a sponsor. But if you're looking tied to go, yeah. I'm your girl because I am messy. That's what I asked for in my stocking a couple years ago from Brent's mom was a tied to go pin. Best Christmas stocking stuffer ever. I know that I said this already in the intro video, but for as long as I've been alive, we've been coming here to this exact same Cheddar's 
You and your family. My, me and my family, not me and Grace. <laughs> That's weird. So we've been coming here. We used to drive like an hour. This would be like once every two weeks or so we would drive up here just to come. It was an hour drive. One day we got a notification that this place burned to the ground. And it was the longest six months of our lives while we were <laughs> waiting for them to rebuild. But now it's back. Long story short, it's delicious. They used to have onion rings that we would get all the time. If you've seen this video before, these videos, you know that onion rings are one of my favorite things. I love them. They're delicious. They got rid of the onion rings a few years ago. Just out of the blue. Don't know why. Don't know why. Then I get an email from my mom, or a message from my mom saying, onion rings are back. <laughs> They've got them. <laughs> the next thing I know, she's taking pictures and sending them from here saying, we got the onion rings. They're back. So, we're here. We're getting the onion rings. We love them. They're crispy. I'm sure they bred them here because they use the same breading that they use for the chicken tenders, which are also delicious, and you'll see in a few minutes. We need Try to bring your parents day. on video so everyone can see that you are just them. Because they are delightful people. Oh! A baby shim. Sure. A baby shim. I don't want to get too excited. Um, because the onion ring itself is shimmy worthy. The sauce is puzzling to me and I'm trying to figure out what in the world it is. That's that's why I couldn't give it a full endorsement. Yeah. But it's good. The onion rings are super crispy. The onion is sweet, sweet inside. Got a little puberty moment there. The onions are sweet. <laughs> get some ketchup. Uh, that's your favorite. They're good. I'll put ketchup on them later, but I don't need to get yelled at by people for putting ketchup on my onion rings. Don't tell me my business, devil woman. How's that blue moon? It's blue and it's moony. And it's even got it, your orange. It has an orange in it. I don't know if you're a beer drinker or not. I don't qualify my, I don't classify myself as being some like snob or anything. I like a blue moon now and again. I went to a bar, got a blue moon. They didn't give me an orange. I asked, do you have an orange? They said, no. Why would you drink a blue moon if you didn't have an orange? Oh, that's blue. <laughs> hey, like this video. You know you do. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you don't already. Give us a little comment. We love the feedback. Brent reads them all, he responds to them all, but give it a like. <laughs> we got a little bit excited and I couldn't uh, wait. decided to have a, a little bit of a sneak peek. A little bit of a sneak peek. This salad is really good. It's mixed greens, lots and lots of carrots and cheese and tomatoes and croutons. It's fresh, it tastes like they just put this together, so it had been sitting back in the kitchen for a while. I would be none the wiser. Um, our server did ask if we were vloggers, and we did say yes, so I kind of feel like maybe I got like a vlogger salad because. <laughs> vlogger salad. It's put together nicely. <laughs> We've gotten what might be the greatest value <laughs> meal in the history of the world. Is that right? This is 20 bucks. Yeah. For the salad, the fries, the chicken, and the ribs. Four chicken tenders. A it giant looks like about 18 bones in there, I think. 18 bones are your money. Yeah. Um, Pterodactyl ribs. Yeah. Kind of like what I said for my salad. I don't. I don't want to presume that it's just because we're so famous <laughs> yeah. that we got these big <laughs> amount of ribs. Yeah. Like I said, hey, we got famous people coming in. Better give them the good give ribs. Give them the good good. <laughs> yeah. We came here, what, month, two months ago, maybe? Uh -huh. We got this exact meal. You got sauce meal. all over your ham. I just don't want you to get it all over yourself. That a baby. Delicious. We got maybe half as many ribs last time we were here. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Am I mad about it? No. I'm definitely going to have leftovers from this. So I did just do a little sneak. See, you can't cut it without getting saucy. The meat is tender. It is fall off of the bone. The sauce. It's not, it doesn't have a strong taste to it. I wish it had a little bit more sweet or a little bit more heat, like just something to pull it more. But for 20 bucks at a family restaurant 
it's pretty good ribs. I mean, obviously I've had better at like rib places, but for something in Indiana adjacent to an Applebee's, they're got uh, pretty good ribs. They're tender, they're meaty, they're smoky. Fries are not as crispy as I would like, but that's okay, seasoned very well. And you got the chicken tenders, which I believe Britt mentioned is the same breading as on the onion rings which are perfection. I never had the onion rings before today. That might be a go-to appetizer. It's like a whole breast, nice and tender and juicy. You can look at that juicy meat in there. I'm gonna dip it in some honey mustard. Cause you know, I'm a ranch girl. I'm a honey mustard girl when it comes to tendies. I love hot. I think if anybody's been watching us from the beginning, they'll see the thing that happens more than any other thing in the entire world is you biting into something that's way too hot mm -hmm. and then burning mm -hmm. your mouth and mm -hmm. then having to wait for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are very impatient when it comes to eating food. <laughs> I also really like my food to be very warm, but it's, I'm Goldilocks, okay? You are that, yeah. So tender, it melts into my mouth. The chicken isn't super seasoned, it's just kind of like your basic little uh, crisp there, but I love it. The honey mustard, very dijon -y. phenomenal. Probably one of the better restaurant honey mustards. Overall, I can't think of anywhere that you can get this much food that tastes this good for 20 bucks these days. Brent and I will both eat off of this, have leftovers, and be a very happy. First things first, I have a bone of contention with Grace. Oh, at the boy. beginning of her review, she said that this was adjacent to an Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's wishes that it was chickens. <laughs> All right. I've been to Applebee's for years. They got some good mozzarella sticks. Every once in a while, things are good. Wonton tacos. Everything at Applebee's comes in frozen. They throw it in a fryer and fry it from frozen. There are at least several things from Cheddar's that I know for a fact that they're making from scratch here. Is that why it's called Scratch Kitchen? I think it might be. It's the chicken tenders. Like I said, these are the tenders that I've been that I've grown up with since I was a babe. They are for sure hand breaded here in in, in the restaurant. You got some in. honey mustard. Like Grace said, they're not the most seasoned chicken tenders in the world right off the bat, but the sauces are so so flavorful that you don't need them. Everyone in the world thinks that Raisin Cane's is the greatest thing in the world for some reason. Uh-oh. And these chicken tenders are every bit as good as Raisin Cane's chicken tenders, and they've got sauces that actually have flavor in them, and they have a choice of sauces instead of just the one that you can get at Raisin Cane's. So I'll take this any day. Frenchy fry. Has some parsley on it. Just for color. It doesn't add anything. But it's good. It was a pretty presentation uh -huh. for french fries. They look good. Got some ribs. This, Melon. I mean, this ribs at a normal restaurant and most of the places that we go, not even in Gatlinburg and stuff, but up here in Indiana, this That's many ribs is usually going to cost $20 at a restaurant. So the fact that you get $20 for all these ribs and four chicken tenders and this stuff. I know there's a lot of people that don't really care all that much to watch us eat at chain restaurants. But one of the things that we're trying to do is trying to show off some good deals at places, some values, because everything's so expensive nowadays that you got to find the good good. This is the good good. We've spent more at Taco Bell for half <laughs> this much food before. Legit. So if you don't want to just eat at McDonald's all your life, come here. If you got one anywhere close, go to it. Is it the best food you've ever had? No. Is it the most cost effective for as good as it is? I think maybe. The rib tastes a lot like what you get at Texas Roadhouse. It's maybe not quite as smoky as that, but it's delicious. The sauce is candy sweet. The ribs are soft and tender. Fall off the bone. They're Look falling at that. off. Yep. You can just peel them off of there. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, it. you know me. I don't get excited about food all that much. <laughs> Cheddar's is the type of place that I'll get excited about. This is... Oh, I dropped so my excited you dropped your napkin. Yeah. I can honestly remember a time when I was a child, probably, I don't know, 8, 10, 12, somewhere around <laughs> that time, 
when my dream in life was that I was going to get old enough to have money and I was going to open a Cheddar's franchise <laughs> in my hometown because it was my favorite place and I didn't feel like having to ride in the car for an hour every time I wanted to eat it and I just wanted it at home. So that's one of my first dreams. Here I am, a food vlogger, and I'm still telling you this is still one of my favorite places all these years later. Getting special treatment. Mm. <laughs> Here is a look at the receipt. My drink was eight fifty. Brent's beer was five. The onion ring tower eight dollars and worth every penny. The ribs and tender combo was twenty. All in after tax before tip, forty five bucks. You really cannot beat that. All right, everyone. We just finished eating at Cheddar's Scratch Scrap. Kitchen. Duplicitous. <laughs> Cheddar, you duplicitous. If you have not watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine, do yourself a favor and watch it. It's one of our favorite shows. One of the best ever. But we're not here to talk about that cheddar. We're here to talk about this cheddar. It was delicious as always. This is one of those places where I know we can come and get good, fast, quality service and quality food for a good price. Good I mean, price. We go to Gatlinburg and spend $40 a meal and get half as much food. So the fact that we're able to come here, get two drinks. And an appetizer. And an appetizer, and have leftovers for 45 bucks. Like, yeah. it's giving it away. Should, sometimes it's, it will say, it's like, what do you say? It's like giving it away. It's like giving it away. Sometimes it will say, well, we got one meal that we shared, so it doesn't yeah. really count as two meals. But we got literally over a half rack of mm -hmm. ribs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. chicken mm -hmm. tenders with our sides today. It may have counted as one meal, but that was two, two and a half. But they least. give you enough food for yeah, two people on purpose. Right. And so the price of it of $20, if you're like, oh, I'm getting one meal by myself for 20 bucks, no. you're not gonna eat that much food to start with. You're and not. if you do, more power to you. But then you can't go anywhere for that price yeah. for $20 exactly. just for yourself if you so, eat that much. Yeah, everything we got today, amazing as always. Our server, Renee, was fabulous. Yep. Very kind, very attentive. Yep. Like I said all along, this has always been one of my favorite places. It's gonna continue to be one of my favorite places. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like, compared to some of the other places that I had, that I went to a lot as a kid, I don't feel like this place has gone downhill nearly as much as some of those other places mm -hmm. have. Food quality still delicious. Prices are good. It's amazing. I love it. And I made jokes about us getting special treatment. I promise we did not. Man. Um, and we never do. Like, we pay for everything. We don't get comps. We don't get any royalty treatment. We're not that high level Let that, yet. <laughs> let's say we wouldn't turn it down. Yeah. If We're not Ty journalists wanted to here. sponsor yeah. me for being clumsy with my food, yeah. I would not If somebody wants to give us down. things, we're going to take them. I don't care if you believe that we're doing this on the up and up or not. I, what do I care? We're doing this for fun. So, yes, if somebody wants to give us an extra chicky tin or one more bone of rib, we're going to take I it. I will take we it. Will take it. <laughs> but thank you for checking this out. We hope that you enjoyed this more of a local chainy type of a thing, but we're going to try and start doing some more chain stuff, some more local stuff mixed in with all of our Gatlinburg stuff. Bargain bins. Yeah. If you don't want to watch them, don't watch them. Still nuts. Still nuts. Deuces. Doodles.